Hi guys, it's Sarah from Pirate Lotus Boutique. And really quick, I just want to say I'm sorry. My videos have been few and far between lately, but I've been going through a lot of stuff and I'm kind of a little sad right now with um, BB Craft because I haven't heard back yet if they're going to... Um, allow me to do the YouTube program anymore. Uh, my video has over a hundred views now, the review and share video. Um, I emailed them over a week ago. Um, <clears throat> a week and... This will be two weeks on Monday. Um, and I re-emailed them three days after that. And I still haven't heard back. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little sad about that, but yeah. That's life, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry if my throat sounds weird, but again, allergies. <laughs> Filming in the basement makes it worse, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. But anyway, <laughs> if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um... Give this video a thumbs up if you, if you haven't or you would like to. Don't hesitate to comment. Uh, I love reading comments from you guys and replying back. And if there's anything you want to ask me or to let me know, I have all my social medias linked below and all of that. So you guys can email me if you need. Um, but yeah, you guys feel free to comment if you want. And now to get on to March bargain bead box subscription. I am excited because I saw the title and I am really excited already. I should have gotten this um, organized first. <laughs> I realized I didn't do this, but that's okay. Alright, I am back. <laughs> the uh, March 2021 bargain bead box theme is called Celtic Inspirations, which I am super excited about. Your beads, rich gem, or green, sorry. Looking through this, at, uh, through the screen is not so good sometimes. Let's <laughs> see. Rich greens and sparkling teal combine with silver findings in this Celtic collection. Highlights include green adventuring, adventuring, I'm not quite sure how to, the, how to say that one, teardrops, and curved leaves. Ooh, a pair of half mate, mat, mat, sorry, agate focals, focal beads, and an array of highly high quality silver tone findings, Celtic. Matvis, I'm not sure if that's saying that correctly, include a triquatra, often represents spirituality, unity, and eternity, and the Dara knot, which is also known as the um, eternity knot, which I am excited about because I use those charms in not one, but I think two of my pendulums that you can find in my Etsy shop. <laughs> um, typically used to represent strength like the roots of an oak tree. We hope you enjoy designing with these timeless symbols, which I am seriously excited about. <laughs> Again, I love Celtic stuff, so this is awesome for me. And it seems we got 19 items this time. And the retail value is $63. And not bad. I'm excited. <laughs> so let's get into it, shall we? Okay, number one is a two-piece approximately 18 by 13 millimeter green adventure adventure. <laughs> Teardrop pendants. Again, I'm just saying that, right? 
and I just tried to lay my <laughs> paper down on my tea. It's uh, sweet tea, so it's not hot, so we're, pretty, we're good on that right now. And over there. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, our top drill. And you can definitely, these are definitely real, I'm pretty sure on that, because they feel very cold to my touch. It's a little rough right there, but... <laughs> It doesn't matter so much. I don't know yet. This one's kind of flat on the back. I don't think this one would. This one's a little bit too. Um, I don't know if I will use these on a necklace or attempt to wire wrap them. Maybe both. <laughs> but I do like these. It's really cute. I use um this particular stone in my uh, chakra stuff that I make, so that's pretty cool. And to actually get some in the box. I feel like this is tilted wrong. Like, I don't know. It's just because these are so small. <laughs> they just look really small on my camera for some weird reason. Alright. <clears throat> Number two is 20 pieces of 7.5 millimeter three petal bead caps lead free cardamom free be this I'm not gonna pull all of these out because I will lose them I don't want to spread it <laughs> I can figure it out later what was supposed to be in it <laughs> oh, what was what, the one there those are cute. Well, if I can get to focus, that'd be fantastic. Does it not want to focus? These are really pretty. I like these. I don't think I have any bead caps like these. Now, I don't know what's going on with the shadowing either. I might have to fix my camera. Something is definitely off from what it usually is. But, uh... I like the design on them. I'm just gonna put those there and see if I can fix my camera so I'm not getting so much uh, weird shadowy stuff going on. Let's pull that up that way. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Something's going on. Sorry about that, guys. Just gonna move these up here. That should be a little bit better, I hope. Yeah, less shadow on my hand. Okay. I'm going to give me a drink real quick. I apologize for that. Uh, again, my allergies have been making me icky and my throat's bothering me right now, so <laughs> gotta have the tea. Number three is a four piece 18 by 15 millimeter Celtic knot flat round charms, lead free, nickel free, and cardium free. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm like stumbling over my words right now. You guys do not understand. I have the weirdest obsession with Celtic things, I don't know why. Um, we suspect it might be because we think there might, might have Irish in me. Um, my dad looks a little bit like he's Irish in the face. Um, don't know for sure, but I would like to know actually. <laughs> but I like this. This is definitely like the uh, Dara knot or Eternity knot, whichever one you want to call it. I like, I don't have any like this. And these are like double sided too. They're really thick. That's I like. <laughs> I really like these. Um I don't know what I'll use these on yet, but there's four of them, so I could either do like I don't know. <laughs> but I'm excited about those. Alright, well I can get stuff like that. And now to number four. 
which is a two piece, 24 by 17 millimeter, not work charm links, charm slash links. Okay. <laughs> Lead free, nickel free, and copper free. Oh, oh. um, this one and number three are both made of pewter alloy with antique copper finish. I think they meant to say antique silver. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's what they meant, antique silver, or that's what they meant that it was plated in copper. I, I, I. <laughs> oh, these are nice. Ah, oh, love it. The book is here a little bit. I'm not sure if this one has a charm, but I will look it up for you guys because, again, I am Celtic obsessed. And anytime I get Celtic knots of any sort, I am super excited. I think I'm more excited about the Celtic um, items so far than I am beads, so. <laughs> That's a whole lot. And speaking of beads. <laughs> Number five is a 14 inch strand of six millimeter green agate round beads and they are dyed and treated. Um, permanently dyed and heat treated. I don't, I don't know why I feel like I had to correct myself, but I'm sure everyone watching this knows that they're usually permanently dyed. <laughs> Ooh. Is anyone else getting some St. Patrick's? Day vibes right now. <laughs> Here's a little fun fact for you guys. It's actually orange that you should be wearing on St. Patrick's Day instead of green. If you want to know why, I can let you guys know in a comment. Um, it's actually really, I did a lot of research on um, Irish stuff, and it's just St. Patrick's Day is originally supposed to be green, or not green. Um, orange that you wear, so I always try to wear both, though. Oh, these are real. I love these agate beads. These are really nice dyed green. <laughs> I think I actually prefer these green. <laughs> love all the different shades. Oops. <laughs> Get up here. Love this. So pretty. Now, I personally am okay with um, dyed beads, but some people will die gemstones. And some people are. I don't know if you guys can see how long this is, but it's like longer than from finger to my elbow. Holy crap. That's a lot of beads. I cannot wait to use this. I love that they always send a lot of beads. It's one of the things I really like about them is they always send plenty of beads. I need something to drink again. Sorry, guys. This is probably the theme of this. I'm drinking my tea. And almost choking on it. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> but yeah, you guys should really do some little research on St. Patrick's Day. There were some really cool facts I found. Um, I'm also going to do something really quickly. I don't know why this is bugging me, but for some reason my camera is just not where it normally is. I think it's because I had my tripod upstairs taking photos for my March never ending collection for my Etsy shop. It's pretty much posting and listing, I should say, two items, or not two items, two listings every day this entire month. I am on day five. <laughs> and I have so many photos to edit, more stuff to make. It's crazy. That's another reason my videos have been slow. Number six is a, I apparently have a spot. <laughs> I apparently have nine instead of six. It's a 10 piece strand of 13.5 millimeter crystal disco faceted round beads in blue green. I really wish they would mark like a little line under the six so that I know which one's the six and which is the nine. I know they're not marking, but if they are, would you please do that for me? Thank you. 
These are really, oh wow. I'm just gonna like hold this up for a second. Let you guys kind of, you know, it's like way more sparkly in person again, but, but you guys can see it to a point. This is like, holy crap. These are nice and big. I don't think I'll be putting many of these on like a necklace. Maybe like a few of them <laughs> spread out a lot because these are actually got a little bit of weight to them. So it actually surprises me. These are really pretty. Look at these. I love the colors in them. Oh. I cannot wait to make something with those. <laughs> Whatever I make will probably either go up on my Etsy shop or I will be keeping for myself probably. <laughs> so number seven is a one thing I'm always excited to get from them. A one meter of chain. This one is a five by three point five millimeter textured steel jewelry chain that is lead free and nickel free. Always love that they send you a meter of chain. I go through it so fast. It's also hard to catch on their site because everybody wants to holy crap. <laughs> I feel like I got a little bit more. Ooh. Let's try to get this to focus a little bit here. I like this texture chain. Hold this down here so you guys can kind of see as I'm folding it like around. Fold up my hand. I'm just gonna like <laughs> kind of sneak in there. That's a lot of chain. <laughs> there, you can always do so much with it. I, I tend to make the necklaces sometimes with, a little bit with the earrings and bracelets, and I still end up with a little bit left over sometimes. I don't think I've actually completely run out yet, which is a little surprising, I think. Next is number eight, a 50 piece 5.5 millimeter swirled rope space to be lead free and nickel free. That would be these. I have something similar to these, I think. I'll oh, lose these. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> The ones I have are close, but not quite like these. But these are really pretty. I'd definitely be using these. And again, they always give you a lot, not just a few, which is also good because you can do a lot with them. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, I already dropped one. <laughs> I don't know where it went. There it is. All right. Now to number nine, which I already saw by accident. <laughs> a two-piece, a 31 by 27 millimeter Celtic knot donut with loop. That just ain't that sometimes fast. <laughs> um, not double-sided, but that's totally fine. What I like about these is you can either use these as a focal and just put like a little bead here, or you can actually probably get away with hanging something down here as well or beading on it. I'm excited. Or you can clip this off here and just kind of leave it bare. I'm excited. And if you want, you can also double side it then. Like that. But yeah, I don't know what I'll, exactly what I'll do with this yet, but I might have a couple ideas. We'll, we'll see. I do like this, though. Those are nice. I need something to drink again. Sorry, guys. I, I keep apologizing to you guys. I know. I'm told I apologize too much. <laughs> I should just leave the lid off of it, but I don't know. I look up and spill it. Number 10 is a 16 inch strand of 6 by 4 millimeter crystal rondelle beads and teal green champagne. 
these are really pretty. I'm actually surprised that there's not more greens and oranges. To be honest. <laughs> I wish this was more St. Patrick's Day. But I will totally take the um, Celtic any day. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I know you guys can see how sparkly it is, but I can tell you right now that they sparkle way more in person. <laughs> A lot of beads too. I like these. <laughs> I know these aren't like the check glass and stuff, but when you're on a budget, these work just as great, and I see nothing wrong with using them. I personally love these. I'm excited for these. Now, I don't know if I will actually use these in this project or um, for my inklets and stuff. I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Trying to get resituated here. My foot is going to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. There we go. A little more comfy. <laughs> and on to number 11, which is a five piece strand, approximately. Seven. Wait, what? That's lost my spot. There it is. 12 millimeter hand carved green adventuring leaf beads. Ooh, these are made up. I don't know. They come. I like the leaf theme. These are cool. They do feel cold to the touch, so it tells me these are definitely natural. If not, I am highly fooled right now. In different shades too. That's really cool. I like these. I wish we had gotten more of these, but I can understand why we didn't. I do like those. I'm trying to get a close up here. Let's see the. Uh... I love when we get the carved um, gemstones. Very often. Uh, what was it last month? No, it was a couple of months ago. We got this for. No, it was February. We got the um, rose quartz carved uh, rose, which I love. It's actually in, well, will be in my shop in a couple of days. <laughs> Number 12 is an eight piece, uh, eight and a half by 15 and a half millimeter. Dara not drop flash leaf. Lead free, nickel free, and guardian free. Can you tell the excitement in my voice right now? <laughs> Sorry. Again, my, I, these are pretty much what I use for those other, uh, for the charms hanging on my pendulums. Not all of them, they're on two of them. Um, I believe it's on my uh, electroplated. Um, quartz one and oh I, I'm not sure but I want to say my gold stone one but my blue gold stone I'm not sure but I love these and then there's one two three four five six seven seven oh eight no seven why is there eight ah it is hiding behind there <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. I am ecstatic about those. I feel like I should show you guys that they are double sided, obviously. <laughs> Look how thick these are. I love these. These are really cool. <laughs> I am definitely putting those in my stash to most likely be used on my pendulums because. Or something, I will be getting back in. <laughs> well, I might just get more charms, so you know, I might just use them. Who knows? Number 13 is a nine piece strand of 10 millimeter green adventure. I'm sure somebody can tell me how I'm saying it. They're supposed to say that, please. <laughs> you can comment below, let me know because I, I swear I know it. one of those is correct. I just don't know which one. Um, green adventure round beads. Big beads. Ooh. 
I like that we're getting several things that are gemstones. So it's like, what, three? Um, at the, at the Green Adventure line and um, the uh, dyed agate. So these are nice too. I like that they have it on like this green wire. <laughs> I like that. Kind of makes it dust show up a little bit better. I like these. I cannot wait to use these. <laughs> I am ecstatic. Uh, I'm not sure if ecstatic is the word I'm looking for, but it's like more than that. I'm just super excited right now. Which is, you guys can probably tell. <laughs> I am getting so excited that I'm uh, still rolling over my words again. So, yeah. <laughs> and rambling. Sorry. Number 14 is a fourth set. 16 by 21 millimeter ornate taco clasps in uh, their lead free, nickel free, and cardian free. These are antique silver, I believe. There we go. I actually think I have some of these. Yeah, I have some of these in um, this color, I believe. Gold, um, antique copper, I think, and maybe brass or bronze. Maybe. I'm not sure. I like these, though. And again, you don't always have to use these as toggle class. I tend to, because I actually like them. But um, they are double-sided, which is always good. But you can always use these as, like, connectors or... Anything really. Even little uh, focals if you wanted. Just to have one hanging out. I just prefer to use them as double class most of the time. Unless. Um, the only time I will use them for something else is when the toggle here slides down into the hole too easy. And this one definitely will not. So... <laughs> I will definitely be using these tacos. I had one recently that uh, it looked really cute and I loved it. And the second, like, I tried to like wear it, it was on a necklace. It would easily come off. I was very disappointed. Okay, something to drink again, something guys. But yeah, <laughs> I do like taco class. They're just easier for me to uh, use. I fractured my right wrist twice. <laughs> Once in my sleep, let's just say if you toss and turn a lot, do not sleep in a metal day bed. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> the second time I was actually making a bed. <laughs> I'm accident prone, guys. You just don't even know. But yeah, I have a little bit of trouble sometimes with my right wrist, so that pop circle class can be difficult for me. And I don't like church bracelets, so yeah. <laughs> Number 15 is approximately 30 by 20 millimeter green adventurine teardrop focal. Oh my God. This, I guarantee, I am going to be wire roughing this. Whether I use it in a piece I make or separately, I don't know. But I am like 100% sure I am wire wrapping this. Um, if I do like something completely crazy, I will most likely um, do copper over it. But if I just want to do something simple, I'll probably use my silver. <clears throat> Unless I can get some bulk uh, 18 gold or 18 gold. <laughs> 18 gauge um, silver wire. Um, if I get some in bulk from Parawire, um, I might just <laughs> wait and see if I can because I love wire wrapping these big ones. Um, I actually just recently, I, I wish I got to do a finished project for you guys video, um, but I did a, a uh, glass cap cabochon. Uh, round one, and I did uh, some weaving, bead weaving, or not bead weaving. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I was just talking to someone about weed weaving, so forget my craziness here. Um, I did some wire weaving that was so intricate and out of what I normally do. It was just, I stepped up, guys. You just don't. I'm actually proud of myself for once. I don't usually say that. But I am. I stepped up my level of skill and I am so proud of myself. I will have to show you guys that and the moon that I did for the um, giveaway when I finally finished it. I got a, I can't say pattern, but a design that I actually was happy with for once. I have been working on this since December guys, and I have not been happy with any of them. And this one, I can't wait to show you guys. I will show you guys the video um, after I send it to her. I still gotta send it out. But I will definitely show you guys what I paid for her. Who, the girl who won my uh, giveaway in December. I just wanted it to be perfect, so I had to find a, pat a design that I really enjoyed. <laughs> okay, on to number 16. Enough of my ramblings. <laughs> 17 inch strand of 8 millimeter facet English cut candy jade piece jade is in quotes um and it is dyed I am going to assume that it's not actually jade but something that looks like jade I just read that and I can't remember if it said glass or not um no, it says English cut candy, quote, jade, unquote, beads. So I am going to have to look that up because I am not sure what that means. But I can tell you these are really pretty, first off. And I love the English cut. We got English cut on, um, what was it, January's, maybe? Um, no, it was December's for the uh, Christmas ones, for the snowflakes. Um... Trying to remember, was Lapis Lazuli or, um, yeah, it was Lapis, Laz Lapis Lazuli. I like these. I love that there's different shades of the green. And these are actually kind of nice size, too. I don't think our last ones were quite as big. I could be wrong. It's been a couple months. But I actually have the necklace and earrings I made from it up on my, uh, what, in my Etsy shop. <gasps> Okay, um, this just came apart <laughs> and beads are going everywhere, so hang on. <laughs> I don't know how many fell, but I have found at least one. Um, just gonna go ahead and let these come off of here because I don't want to pick it up and then lose them later. So just take them all off, I guess. That was unexpected. <laughs> the knot came off of the end. It wasn't knotted. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just get these into a pile so I can get them later. These are really pretty though. I mean, I love the light and medium color green, and they got the really dark. I like that. Alright, we are almost done, guys. We only got three more to go. We are number 17, which is a two piece approximately 24 to 27 millimeter half mate. I might just say mate hat. Green agate cut coin beads. Oh wow, these are big. Holy. <laughs> I can definitely say I don't have any of these. I have some, had some small ones at one point, I think. Um, I think it's blue, maybe. I don't remember. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, shoot. <laughs> These are nice. And that one is a little bit bigger. But I like that because that means I can use these on two different things. But I definitely like these. I I don't think I actually have any of this big, like any flap beads like that. I'm almost tempted to wire wrap these. I know I wire wrap everything. <laughs> I do really like wire wrapping. I like this. 
I like that it's got the matte finish around the edge. And like, yeah. This is going to be fun. I still think I will wire work with something simple. Um, but yeah, I think this would be nice. Like a simple wire wrap. Or I'm calling it classic. <laughs> Seven inch strand, eight by six millimeter crystal Vondel beads, metallic green iris. I don't know if I'm getting much of the green right now, but we'll see when I get it if I get it out of the baggie. There we go. There we go. Whoa! Okay. Again, um, just a heads up, you guys, if you haven't got yours yet, be very mindful of your strings because this is the second one where all the beads have gone everywhere. Okay, this one actually went a lot more than the other one, but still. Um, these are nice. I like how shiny they are. I'm just going to pull them off the string. <laughs> I can get them. Oh, sure. Now you don't want to come off there. <laughs> Spill everywhere and then not want to come off. That's my look. <laughs> I told you guys I was accident prone. Here is my proof. <laughs> this one is stuck on the thing. Hang on. I think I can get that quickly off of there. This really isn't that big of a deal, but... <laughs> um, it's just gonna have to from now on be very vigilant about my beads. I want to leave these right here and then <laughs> try to get this last one off. I don't have any of my tools down here so I can't actually cut this. It seems to only come inside. There we go. Take a little finagling. <laughs> okay. Here. I am very sorry guys. I, I I need to just check the ends before I do anything. I think would probably be the best idea. I'm probably missing some I know, but I'm just trying to get as many as I can back over here. Okay, here's one. <laughs> well that was um, <laughs> different. Sorry guys. Oh. This week has not been my week. <laughs> At least we are on the last item. <laughs> you guys won't have to see me drop any more beads. Um, <laughs> 19. It's a two piece, 29 and a half triquatra pendant <laughs> sled for nickel ring. Okay, you guys know I am obsessed with this particular Celtic knot because I have that little. Um, cloth that I do my uh, tutorials on and my tarot readings um, that has like a big one. <laughs> it's, it's not double sided. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> okay, um, whoever's idea was to put these in the bargain theme box, can I just say? A very huge thank you, and I'm trying really hard not to cry. If anyone sees these outside of Bargain Bead Box's website, please let me know. Because I definitely will want more of these, and by the time I can buy them, they will probably not be on Bargain Bead Box anymore. But please, if you see them anywhere else, let me know, because I want more of these. This is incredible. I can't even word right now. I just don't know. Like, okay, I'm just gonna like distract myself by telling you guys things. Like, you can put them side by side if you want. And take the little jump rings off. <laughs> I am like, <laughs> I know you guys are like probably laughing at me right now if you stay to the end of this. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> you guys understand that I was obsessed with the show Charmed. Which the Triquatra is actually the symbol for, is on there as their symbol thing. But um, 
this I was not expecting to be so, I want to say intricate or detail. I, I, I can't word right now. I was just expecting like, you know, just this middle part, like being in the giant part here, not all this other stuff. This is just expectation blown out of the water. There is no more expectation. <laughs> it went away. These are, I am, yeah, one of these is, whatever I make is going to be mine. <laughs> No doubt about it, I am going to have to fight myself on actually not keeping everything away from this. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I mean, I, right now, I'm just... Yeah. Um, I love the bargain bead box. You guys know this. It's definitely my favorite. I only get two because I can't afford it anymore <laughs> now. But if you guys want to help me out with that, you know. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I can't even right <laughs> I'm like wondering if I need to just cut the air and come back let myself like cry I don't know but um I love the bargain bead box but this right here <laughs> alone has made every month worth it that I have gotten so far because I like a lot of stuff. This right here is my favorite from the Bargain Bean Box. This is my favorite theme. It, it's just it, I, I can't look. <laughs> I, I'm absolutely <sighs> You guys would understand if you understood my obsession with Celtic stuff. <laughs> oh. This is incredible. I love this. Um, I should probably just go ahead and end this or I'll be rambling all night because I am just right now completely <laughs> stunned is an understatement right now for me. I can't even word right now. <laughs> this by far is my favorite. I've been getting this since um Uh, sometime in the summer? I don't remember if it was July or August, maybe. But I've been getting it for a while now, and every month it's always something really cool, and sometimes some disappointments here and there. Like with the head, there's really thin head pins from two different ones I don't want to get into because I was very disappointed. <laughs> and I need head pins. Um, but this right here is just like me in a nutshell. <laughs> Okay, not really, but if there was like, um, trying to think, I can't even word. If there was like some blacks and pinks in here and, um, with the Celtic stuff, this would completely be me. <laughs> yeah, I am just, I am floored right now, you guys. Like, I just... <laughs> I actually want to send Bargain Bee Box an email and thank them for this box because this, I have been having, as you guys know, not the greatest year so far and things just are not going well. And um, this just <clears throat> made up for all that, I think. <laughs> you know, being disappointed with not knowing yet if I'm going to be ex um Doing the bargain, or not bargain bead, the bead box. Oh my god, I can't even right now. The BB craft stuff right now because I haven't heard back. And doing this whole two listings the entire month of March, trying to photograph everything and edit the photos and worry about my YouTube channel with you guys. And then the Parawire scammer who is still there by the way you guys be very vigilant about that one um i did speak to the company again and they were trying very hard to get them to stop they've actually stopped their um friday giveaway because of it uh, hoping that they would give up i'm hoping they started back soon though uh, but just you know still be worried and weary and stuff about that don't trust people if they ask for your credit card information it is not the real company just that i won't 
their website will, but I mean, their giveaway will not ask you for your credit card information. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that stuff in my personal life has not been going well, and not been sleeping well lately because of, well, let's see. <laughs> Not last night, the night before last, there was cats making noise outside my window, and they were going like completely crazy. It sounded like they were knocking stuff over, like this thing is just a lot of crazy things. We don't have cats, so I don't know if they were strays or somebody else's, I don't know. <laughs> but they woke me up, and then um, some dogs woke me up one night, and it's just been crazy i've not been sleeping well um and i've been working on a lot of stuff i've been wire wrapping a lot lately which is good but i've just been feeling a lot of stress and stuff so this right here this month's subscription box just... yeah <laughs> all this bad stuff that's been happening right now has just like completely squished under this subscription right now <laughs> this month's theme the stuff yeah this just smashed all that down for me but that's one of the reasons my videos have been a little slower than usual. I have tutorials ready, not the videos, but I have this stuff set aside in little baggies, even sorted and ready to do the tutorials. But I've been feeling so down and stuff. It's just like, I can't. <laughs> I just, I want to, I really do. It's just, I just haven't been able to. Um, it's just a lot. I, I have suffered with depression since I was 14 and I'm going to be <clears throat> 39 <laughs> in August. I'm getting old. Um, but there are some times I just, I'm so overwhelmed and stuff that it might not even be anything going on. It's just suddenly I just feel really down and stuff. And I've been feeling that way because of a lot of the other negativity that's been going on. Um, but I'm hoping that'll turn around soon. Um, hopefully I hear from BB Craft soon because I really want to do their YouTube program because I love their stuff. And this video is going to be way longer than I planned and I apologize for that. <laughs> it's going to be like an hour long. I'm so sorry. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm going to try to wrap this up soon. Um, but yeah, if you guys are wondering why there's a delay in my videos and stuff, it's just trying to get my depression under control. I need to, like, see a doctor again, get me on my medication again. I was on some for a while. It actually helped not only my depression, but my anxiety. I have really bad anxiety. <laughs> Which is why the cats woke me up. Made it so hard for me to fall back asleep. My brain starts thinking, like, oh crap, did, like, a burglar step on somebody's cat as they were, like, trying to climb the fence? And that's why I went crazy. <laughs> They're like, well, I'm breaking my house now. Like, just not the cat, the burglar. Just things like that. But, um, yeah, I just, I'm wanting to get back into this really bad. Um, I might be a little slower this month just because I'm working on that two listings a day for my Etsy shop thing. But I think you guys will enjoy some of the stuff I've been doing. Um, I might do a little video of, um, some of the stuff I posted on there, like a little slideshow type thing and post it on here. Or, um, I might just do like a, uh, finished jewelry update sort of thing with a twist, like show you guys some of the stuff I've been making for it because I've been doing some wire weaving and wire wrapping of like really simple things and then like somewhere in the middle and like these intricate pieces. Um, but yeah, I will try to get you guys some more videos out because I really enjoy doing this. It's just my depression lately and all the bad stuff is negative. Not really bad, just negative. It's been uh, getting to me. <laughs> But sorry about the ramblings and all that, but I really love this box. If you guys get this box and you don't want these, feel free to message me. Maybe we can work out a deal because I really want more of these. <laughs> I, like, yeah, I really want more of this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, will, I also got the curated beat box today too. They both came in early. Well, not the curated beat box, but the bargain beat box came out, which is strange again but they came the same day and i will record that one tomorrow night probably but i will get this one up hopefully tomorrow which will be saturday i think the sixth so hopefully i get that up um i gotta edit first um but uh yeah i really like this month's theme as you guys can tell 
I really hope that I can start getting some more bead boxes soon. And if I can start selling more in my Etsy shop. I have a second Etsy, sh Etsy shop, by the way, guys. It's for printables. Things you can print at home yourself. Like some wall art um, that you can print at home yourself. Or take to the printer place. We do. Uh, we take our sort of like right aid or CVS stuff like that. Um, but... Um, there's also some planners. I don't have a lot of the planner sheets out yet. Not the planners themselves, but planner pages. Um, I got a bunch more planned that I need to actually finish making. And those will be up too. So if you guys are into those printable type things, it's called Forever Lily Designs. I will leave that in the description under my uh, main Etsy shop. Um, but yeah, as soon as I start making more money, hopefully on there, or you guys want to help me out on patreon too so i can start getting like more subscription boxes that would be fantastic um money is really tight for i think everybody right now so i know you guys understand that um but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'm sorry i've gone on and on and this has been a really long video but i miss you guys i really do oh before one more thing before i go i hit over 1000 followers on Instagram. I am excited. I wish I could hit that number on here. <laughs> Let's try to get that before my birthday, guys. This is an August. Let's try to do that. <laughs> I'm really excited um, about the 100 followers, not 100 followers, 1,000 followers. I have 100 and someone here. 1,000 and someone on Instagram. I don't know what I'm doing on there, so people who are following me on there is just like blowing my mind. <laughs> But yeah, you guys can check out my Instagram if you want. I post daily, sometimes several times on there now. And TikTok. I have TikTok now. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to end this here because I am like still on a high over these right now. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do stuff and <laughs> edit this and all that. But I will see you guys next time. Sorry for the rambling. I hope you stay till the end, and if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment anything you want below, like if you want to see me do a particular video, or there's a subscription box that you guys would like me to have on my list for when I can start on more than these two. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I will leave it there. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye.